Hi there, thank you for purchasing one of our wine glass paint kits. Today I'm going to show you how to make this adorable floral wine glass. I've got it taped down for now so it doesn't roll away on us. Um, it's super, super simple, just a few steps and you can really customize it to whatever flowers you want. So your paint kit should have come with a blank wine glass, two brushes, some paint, and a plate to put the paint on. You'll also need some water and a water cup. And also it should have come with a napkin as well. Make sure you put something down on your work surface. This isn't quite as messy as normal painting, but you still wanna protect your surface. So I've got some butcher paper down because this is permanent acrylic paint. So just in case I get some on myself, I like to be protected. So um, we normally would use both brushes, but I think I'm going to start off with um, just my smallest brush. I'm going to test it out and see how I like it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do some blue and green for my grass. So I can take my smallest brush and you can tell I've been using this palette. I don't want to waste any of my paint so I can mix some blue and green together to get a little bit of a darker green. And I can always start at the bottom of the base of my wine glass. And I'm gonna press my brush down and I'm gonna flick up and away. And that is how I'm going to create my grass. And I'm gonna do this about a million and five times. Um, just always starting at the bottom, flicking up. I'm gonna have some pieces of grass that overlap some that are taller, maybe I can even start some a little bit higher so they get taller. And I can do a few that are regular green, some that arch, some that are more straight. Here's an arching one. And I'm just rotating my wine glass as I go, always starting on the bottom and flicking up. This is all about the pressure on your brush. So you wanna make sure that as you're doing it, you're pushing down and then lightly flicking away as you get to the top. And they should all be different sizes, different curves, and to some extent, different colors. We want a few that are a little bit different, but we'll definitely want some that are slightly taller than others because once we get to our flowers, we want them to kind of stand out and be a little bit taller. So I'm just rotating my brush as I go. Flicking up, always, always, always starting at that bottom. Getting close to my end, trying to make sure that I have some that are curved, some that overlap. Always starting at the bottom, flicking my brush up and away. So now I have a bunch of grass if I wanna go back to the bottom and just add some pieces that really take it all the way to the inside of this. So there's a little gap. I'm gonna add just a little, a few pieces of grass to make sure that very bottom is covered so when I look on the inside, um, it looks nice and covered and uh, clean. There we go. So that's it for the grass, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Um, you can wait for that to dry or you can go ahead and start to add flowers. Again, as I said, you can do whatever you want for your flowers. So I'm gonna rinse my brush off. You wanna make sure it's nice and dry, nice and clean and nice and dry. Okay, so I cleaned my brush off and I can start making some flowers. So I'm gonna show you, oops, a few different uh, types of flowers that you can make. All of them, you're using a very similar technique. So the first one is gonna be a yellow flower. I'll do that right there. Now these yellow flowers, you can see that, are little um, bunches of three flicks of paint. So I'm going to almost act like I'm making an arrow. Can you see that? I'm taking my brush, I'm starting on the inside, I'm flicking away, flicking away, almost like I'm doing an arrow or a triangle, and then I can do a third one in the middle. So it's three little tiny flicks. One, two, three flicks is going to create my yellow. You can see that 
right? We got three flicks. I'm always starting on the side of the grass and flicking away. Now I can get a little bit of red on my brush and I can flick a little bit of red right down the middle of each of them to add a little bit more dimension. You can see that red adds a bit of dimension. And I could go over all of them if I wanted to. I just added one flick, but depends on how much red you want. But that just gives it a little bit more excitement, right? It's not just the yellow anymore. That is an option. Um, and you can distribute these however you want. I am going to grab some red next, some just plain red, and um, we've got kind of a downward facing uh, petals, a downward facing flower. So you're gonna go to the top of one, you're gonna start in the middle and flick down and away, down and away several times, and I'm doing mine a little bit bigger so you can kind of see. But the key here is I'm not going above, right? It's all gonna be flicking down and away. So I started in the middle, I flicked down and out. And then once I've got that, I can take a little scoop of yellow. And I can tap my yellow right in the middle for a center. So those are two different types of flowers. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add um, a few more of those guys throughout. And you can watch me do it again. I'll try to do it a little bit closer. One, two, three for my yellows. And then I can go back with some red. And I'm rotating every other side. And I'm grabbing a tiny bit of red. There we go. So that's another yellow. And maybe I'll do one more yellow. I'll do it right over here. One, two, three. Go one, two, three, one, two, three. And that's enough. Let me grab a little bit more red. Kind of draw that red throughout. It's very loose. It doesn't have to be perfect. So when you look at it from far away, it really brings it all together. Now I'm going to hold off on my red and I'm going to do um, another one, which is blue. So I can wipe my brush off and I can grab some blue paint and I can press my brush onto the green and flick up and away. And I'm going to do maybe three on either side. Ooh, I got like a hair or something. Okay, let me get close up again. I can press and flick up and away, up and away. Once I've got that, I can get some white on my brush and I can just flick down the middle of each of these to add a little white on my middle. Or you can get both of those colors at the same time and try to do them at the same time. That's with both colors on my brush at the same time. Taking a scoop of white and a scoop of blue together. So that's another option. But I find sometimes the blue overrides the yellow when you do it like that. But if you're careful, it can definitely work. And you can get some cool different variations. That one's a little bit lighter. So that's another option. And then the last option of flowers that I'm going to show you, I'm gonna wipe my brush off. It's just white and you can just tap, 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 tap your brush all along the green. You're gonna kind of create a point at the end. So you're creating like a little line of taps, of white taps. So I can tap, tap, tap. Let's see if you can see that. Tap, 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 tap. There we go, we've got a line of taps. And I can just do a few of those if I want to. Those aren't as exciting. I'm gonna go back because I didn't add all my red ones and I'm gonna show you how to do those again. You're starting at the top of the grass and you're flicking out and away. 
it's all about the pressure of your brush. You're applying pressure and then you're lifting it up and away, up and away as you go out. Looking out, you can do four or five times. Let's see, I don't have enough space for it there. Maybe one more down here. Flick, 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 flick. And then I need to go back and add little yellow dot on the top of each of mine. Do, 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 do. There we go. That one already has one. Oh, I think that's all of them. So I have a few open spots. Um, let's see what else we can do. Maybe we can do a purple one. This is not on the sample, but I, in order to make purple, I can mix red and blue. And maybe I can do a purple one. I'm just doing the same technique as the blue, tapping once on either side. I can maybe one to the top. And then I'll actually go back and do some white in the middle of that as well. So that was just red and blue to make purple. Tap, tap, tap along either side. And then you can add little streaks of other colors. And maybe the last one I'll do is over here because that one's pretty big. It needs something on it. There you have it. So that's the top part of it. And of course you can invent your own flowers as you go. I'm going to put my smallest brush in the water and I'll grab my medium brush. And this is also totally optional, but you can cover the whole bottom in that green. Or maybe I'll do blue green to keep it consistent. I'll cover the whole bottom in blue green. That's what we've got on our sample, but of course you could write your name. And what's really nice about this paint, if there's anything I don't like, if I wipe it off while it's still wet, it'll just wipe off right away. So if I try to do my name and it looks horrendous, I can just wipe it right off with uh, you know, my paper towel, my finger. Um, you can dip your paper towel in water and it should rinse off right away. Um, and even if it dries, you should be able to scrape it off because what's actually gonna set these is um, I am going to give you some baking instructions in the comments um, or in the info on this video and it'll show you how to bake it and that's super important to do. So um, you'll let it set for four days and then you'll actually bake it in your oven yourself. But that is it, that's the finished product. Super, super cute. Um, of course you can customize your own flowers if you want to. Um, but just look how loose and abstract it is, and it looks adorable from far away. So don't put too much pressure on yourself as you're doing this. Um, Painting is never supposed to be too perfect. All right, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed, and have a good day.